Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith, and today we'll ask a question about the consequences of our actions. Sometimes, good or bad things happen just as a natural consequence of our actions. For instance, breaking a hole in a dam causes a flood as a natural consequence of the hole being made. The question is, is heaven like this, a natural consequence of our moral actions? This is an interesting question, since we know that in this life, when we routinely practice virtue, it often becomes easier to be virtuous. Eventually, would we naturally arrive at a state where temptations no longer occur, and we would just be virtuous by nature? Sometimes, people do have certain temptations removed. After his family tried to tempt him out of the religious life with a prostitute, and he chased her out of his room with a candlestick, St. Thomas Aquinas was never tempted by sexual sinfulness again. However, these situations are extremely rare. Besides, it's one thing to be freed from temptation, and another to come back from the dead. Certainly, heaven does involve being freed from the temptation to do evil. By whom he hath given us most great and precious promises, that by these you may be made partakers of the divine nature, flying the corruption of that concupiscence which is in the world. 2 Peter 1 4. Here, St. Peter says that the ability to be tempted by evil, or concupiscence, is present only in this world or this life. Still, this says nothing about why the saints come back to life, so we'll need to look at this from another point of view. If heaven is a natural consequence of our moral actions, then it's due to our moral actions alone, and is therefore, at least in part, we who save ourselves. What does the Bible have to say about this view? For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. For it is the gift of God, not of works, that no man may glory. Ephesians 2, 8-9 The answer is perfectly clear. We do not save ourselves, and therefore we can see that heaven is not a natural outgrowth of our progress in virtue. Instead, it's a magnanimous gift from God, which even the most virtuous people are unable to fully earn or deserve. Next, is it always wrong to call someone foolish? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.